What's up, guys? Long time no see, right? Yeah, I started doing Indies again. The last one was about the Need for Speed thing. <laughs> Today is about games, of course, okay? I do not change the, the things I talk about. Jesus. Today is about uh, The Last of Us. If you're not uh, familiar with it, The Last of Us has, has a remake gameplay leak and I'm gonna say my, my opinion, I fucking hate The Last of Us Part 1. I, I love the original one. I think it was awesome. It was one of the best games ever. I'm a big fan of Naughty Dog. But this one just felt like a cash grab. At least for me, it just felt like a crash cash grab. I love PlayStation. I love Naughty Dog. Two of their franchises are my absolute, are one of my absolute favorite. That is Jack and Dexter and The Last of Us. I mean, not really serious because of that one, because I didn't like The Last of Us Part 2, even though I thought it was good gameplay. Gameplay, it, it, it looked fun. It's just a story I really didn't didn't find it interesting. It was just that. I didn't find the story interesting. I find it I found it boring. Just that. Uh, Crash Bandicoot is also a game that I kind of enjoy. I just, it wasn't really on my time. I never really played it that much. Only a little, a little bit. But what I played, I enjoyed. Uncharted was good. Not my favorite because I'm not interested in that Indiana Jones type of shit. It just not my, it's just not my style. Simply that. But I enjoyed it. It looked good. The gameplay is fun of uh, Uncharted. So when coming back to The Last of Us remake, uh, actually what I wanted to say with Naughty Dog that I like is I'm not a, a Naughty Dog hater, okay? Because Naughty Dog, like uh, crazy fans, you know, Naughty Dog fanboys, they are fucking nuts. Just because you are against them, they are nuts. And this is what I want to talk about. It. It's the culture behind the fanboy of Naughty Dog. That it's nuts, okay? It's just, it's horrendous. Because I, in my opinion, The Last of Us Part 1 is a cash grab. I don't know. The Last of Us, the original, looked pretty good. I really enjoyed the game. It's pretty good. I still sometimes, I'll just grab it and play it again. Because it looks good, it doesn't look old. And I just enjoy it, you know? It's, it's fun. They announced The Last of Us Part 1. It kind of feels like a cash grab. Like, it kind of feels that you want more money and you don't have a creativity for other projects. It just feels like that. The thing is, Naughty Dog is doing other projects. It's true, it's doing at least one other project. At least one. The other one, I don't think they announced anything. We don't really know if they're making another one. But if they are making another one, besides uh, The Last of Us... Factions 2 and The Last of Us Part 1, they only have like a full team there. They don't have a lot of people. They don't, they have, might have uh, some 30, 20 people just working in the beginning in the foundation things. They don't have that evolved. So that doesn't really matter because they don't have the efficiency of a whole team on it. But most of the team are divided between The Last of Us Part 1 and Factions 2. Factions. I think you could have a lot of things. It's supposed to be online with a story and all that shit. Man, that shit looks fucking great, okay? Uh, I think it looks promising. And I think they should just waste every sweat and tear on that. To bring us a, a really good game. The Last of Us Part 1. I, I watch the graphics. They are good on the cutscenes. In-game, they look basically the same. A little more animation there, here and there. They look more natural. But in-game, is the same, it looks the same. I actually, the first time I saw the leak, I actually thought the guy was joking and he was showing the, the Last of Us old original because I was like, uh, they wouldn't be dumb to make a part one remake. They wouldn't be that dumb. And then they show, I was like, yeah, this guy is joking. But no, it's it, it's true. I talked with some people on Twitter. I know Twitter is a fucking cesspool of this shit. But I talked some with some people on Twitter and they are not, if, if you disagree with them, I only said that I felt like it was a, ca a cash grab and lack of creativity. I, I said it at that because it, it didn't feel like it was a, a needed remake. Not like Jack and Dexter feels like a, a needed remake because that shit is... Even nowadays, it's really good nowadays. But if there was a remake, I could understand. So these guys were telling me that 
it was basically a reboot and creativity may make sense because uh, they are making two other projects so three projects in total and but they are they say this in a very aggressive way it's crazy they say this in a very aggressive way okay like they are making free projects so they don't have lack of creativity sorry dude but if you are doing free projects and one of them is crash grab dude you have two projects that you could be wasting your time to make them as good as possible and these are new projects and you have more people in this third project that is just a remake sorry dude but that's a fucking cash grab okay that's a cash grab you cannot tell me different that's a cash grab man Come on, if you have two other projects, one is supposedly, it's not really finished, but uh, I think they gave it one, two years. So it's almost there. It's not, the, it's not that crazy. If they put more effort on it, like the team that is on The Last of Us Part 1, if they put that effort in the Factions 2, maybe Faction, Factions 2 could come out earlier or at the same time, but much better than what it will come out. You know, and maybe the other project, the engine, if they're using a different engine and they are starting the engine, it could even be better. But they're wasting time of The Last of Us Part 1 remake. Yeah, uh, they told me it was kind of a reboot. From what they tell, it's not really a reboot. They just, it's the same story. They just added some stages. For example, there was one part in The Last of Us 1 that after you get the card from Billy, Billy? I don't know if it's Billy. It's uh, friends of uh, Joel. Uh, you go on a drive towards... I forgot the objective. But it was to find the fireflies. And you go to this place. And you are ambushed. In the original one. You are ambushed. And then uh, you escape from that ambush. And you need to walk to the place. And that's when it starts. Uh, in The Last of Us. I saw in the gameplay trailer. I saw part where they showed... A bridge and supposedly that's where they talked Joe talked about that bridge and that's where it happened the ambush so the if the ambush is going to be playable it, it may mean that other parts of the game are playable you could associate that and that's cool yeah but still I don't know if there's enough for that because it basically feels like at least from what I see in the gameplay, it just feels like I'm going to play the PS4, the PS4 version with better graphics and more stages. The gameplay works the same way. Probably it works like part two with maybe the the rope part. It was a, a it looked like the nice puzzle. I'm not sure if they showed on the gameplay trailer. I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna say that there is not. Uh, improvement at least the game the gameplay should work as part two okay dude what i got in is just if you really enjoy the game and you think that just improve a little bit the graphics uh, maybe added some to none gameplay and a few extra levels if you think that's worth for uh, 80 80 euros if i'm not mistaken or 70, no, I think it's 80 Euro, euros. If you think that is worth, that's on you, man, okay? If you think it's worth, okay, man, I don't care. You you do you, man, You the money is yours, I don't care. For most people, I don't think it's worth. I think it's horrendous, it's it's stupid. Only if they show now the, the game, when the game actually releases, and they say the gameplay is actually new, fresh, everything feels fresh, maybe then, I'll say, okay, maybe it's worth it. I don't think the game is worth it eighty dollars. Half a price, I don't doubt it. Forty dollars, I think forty dollars, not forty forty euros. I think that's worth. That's a good price. I I find that a normal pri price. Now eighty euros, that's way too much. And the problem that ties into this, that I'm actually talking about, that uh, it's kind of explaining. The Last of Us Part 1, the the whole history about it. Uh, the problem is the fanbase. The fanbase is a... Look, me speaking with a guy, the guy was so fucking aggressive. I don't understand why. 
It was doing like it was debating. It was like, your point is not valid. I, I was like, bro, why are you so mad? I'm just saying, I, I wasn't even giving him the credit that maybe maybe I'm not right, you know, or maybe we just fundamentally disagree, okay? Maybe he finds that uh, just improved a little bit more graphics, it's worth 80 dollars, 80 euros. If he thinks that we just fundamentally disagree, okay? It's it's just that we just fundamentally disagree, and there's nothing nothing wrong with that. I like my games, you know, a little bit with content, okay? With new content. I like with new shit. And when I say new content, I mean like a lot of stuff. I, I don't mean just uh, just a better graphics and more stages, because the story is going to be the same. They might add a little bit, a little bit of more uh, deep stuff. You know, when I mean deep, I mean probably some things that may tie in into part two. You no, know, they they might do that. They might have done that. The thing is, when you do a game, at least I think it should be needed. It should be a game that you think, even playing nowadays, it feels uh, weird. I'm also very against Resident Evil 4 remake. But from what I seen the gameplay in Resident Evil 4 Remake, it actually feels like a new game for me. I saw the gameplay and I was like, this shit looks totally different. Okay? The, the areas didn't feel the same. Even though the game, the, Res the Resident Evil 4, still plays awesomely. Okay? And, but watching the trailer, it made me like feel like this doesn't feel like the same game. It, it had that feeling behind it. That's why I also think that Resident Evil 4 is kind of okay. Or at least in the beginning I didn't thought, but when they showed the gameplay, I was like, that's nuts, okay? This game looks totally different. And I thought it was worth it. It might be worth it. I will not buy it because I don't like to buy games at 80 euros because it's just too much for me. I, I don't think it's worth any game at 80 euros. You can say that it is, and it's okay. I, I think that... Uh, it makes sense be 80 euros. I just don't want to buy a game at 80 euros. That's just me. If you think differently, that's okay. I just don't like to buy it. I don't even think that it's... Uh, like some people say that it's so stupid that games are 80 euros. It's not stupid. I understand it. Okay? Uh, the things are more pricey. They waste a lot more money in, in, the, in these games. A lot more than before. So I get that they put a, a bigger price on it. I understand. And I don't mind. I simply don't want to pay 80. It's just that. But yeah, the community is really toxic behind it. It's it's not it's nuts. It just kills because no one can say a different opinion. And you're just trashed by having a different opinion. No one that thinks that uh, The Last of Us Part 1 is dumb. It's a cash grab. Like says that you're stupid because you want you you think that it's worth it. We just say that it's not worth it. You can buy it. We, we don't care. Like we don't care if you want to buy it. That's cool if you if you want to buy it. But like it doesn't make sense that you don't agree that it's a cash grab. It's no problem if it's a cash grab. If you I don't know. It might be because if you think it's a cash grab and you buy it, it means that you're stupid. That doesn't mean anything. It might be a cash grab, but you can buy it. Just the rest of us, when we're seeing is cash grab, it's just it's just in a way to say that if you because most people cannot buy every game, they have to choose. And when you see it's a cash grab and all that, we are trying to say is uh, waste your money. If you want to waste eighty euros, at least waste in a new game and not on this one. Is that way? If because if if you want to buy it, that's with you, bro. Why? I we. Uh, I think most people that are against the rest of us part one don't care. They don't care if you want to buy it. They don't think that you are stupid for buying it. At least the general. The thing is the general of the ones that are fanboying this game uh, that and that support this game. They are just crazy. They are just against they just say that you're dumb and you don't understand business and you don't understand this and that. That that's the only way that they go against you. They just tell you that, yeah, you don't understand business. Like, we all think. At least, we all think when iPhone, uh, an iPhone, a new iPhone is made. 
and there is few to no differences, we all think it's fucking useless. We think it's dumb. It, it still sells, but it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. To end the video, I released a 100 subs in my main channel yeah, about Dirty Bomb. That's nuts, okay? It's crazy. The game was crazy, okay? I did even a, a little lore. I shouldn't tell this. <laughs> It's just this. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the channel in the description and the latest video. And if you want to buy The Last of Us Part 1, I don't care. You can buy it. There's no problem. The game is still a cash grab. And you're not dumb because if you want to buy it, maybe you really enjoy the game. Maybe you feel really connected to the series. And that's okay. If you think it's worth it, it's okay. You're not dumb because of it. You're not dumb for buying it. It's fine, because games are just an entertainment. You know? And if you think that your entertainment is worth for 80 euros, it's okay. Doesn't matter. It's just a, it's just a game. But just be mindful with it. You know? There's no need to be passive-aggressive, or even aggressive, by having a different opinion. It's not worth it. If you have a different opinion from someone else, try to explain it why your opinion is better. Or try to explain why you think that way in a normal way. And try to understand why he thinks that way. In no passive aggressive way. In a normal way. In an understandable way. Just try to do that. So, till next time guys. See ya.